As promised earlier in the week, state dog law enforcement officers spent most of today in Cambria County making random stops at homes to make sure that dog owners are in compliance with state law. And Maria Miller has more on that. Maria? Well, Marty, obviously it's the law to keep your dog up on licenses and vaccinations, but more importantly, with the summer months upon us and many dogs outside enjoying the weather, the Department of Agriculture says it's just trying to keep everyone safe. What the office is concerned about is trying to reduce and or prevent any number of dog bites or injuries that may occur because dogs running loose. And it is a law that you must keep your dog uh, under reasonable control and or confined within your property. The biggest thing officers are looking for is to make sure each dog is properly licensed with the state. With the tag on the car and having your dog licensed, it's a short ticket home for your dog. We can locate you and reunite the two of you back together. Officers made quite a few random stops in Westmont Thursday morning, including a Lasili's home. They just wanted to make sure that she had all her rabies shots, her tags, and everything was up to date. And uh, everything passed? We lost some paperwork. We got to get, we got to find it. Failure to comply with state law could run you into the hundreds of dollars in fines. 50 to $300 for each dog not licensed, up to $300 for each dog not properly vaccinated, and another $100 to $500 if a dog is not properly confined. So not only is it safer for your dog, it also can save you a considerable amount of money if someone is in violation. Seeley tells us once she finds her paperwork, she knows SAR will pass just fine, but says she's thankful the state is checking up on those who may fall through the cracks. I think it's great because if a dog gets out and they have rabies, we don't want that to spread at all. It just makes everything safer for the public, which is our concern and also for your dog. Again, those fines could run you into the hundreds of dollars compared to the just six to eight dollars a year for a license or the 30 to 50 dollars for a lifetime uh, license. And those can all be purchased from your county treasurer. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.